Okay, I'm going to finish my face. I have on a different lip color than usual that I ever wear. I accidentally ordered it, and I love it. It's called Plum. I put two coats of Plum on, and then I put one coat of B Ruby on top of it. I put my lip gloss. It's not going to be coming off all day. I have on my foundation. I did one eye, and I'm going to finish and do this eye. show you how to do it. Now, all this makeup's gonna stay on all day. It's not gonna budge, it's not gonna smudge. It's gonna be perfect. I'm gonna be using eyeshadows. I'm gonna use Sandstone Pearl. I'm gonna put that all over my eye. It's a really pretty um, shadow cream. You put it on and you rub it with a brush and it turns into a powder and it's waterproof and it'll stay on all day. So, you just blend it all over your eye. I go all the way from my eyebrow to my eye lashes. Really pretty. It's actually a makeup. It's not just a eyeshadow. I'm going to use Mulberry, which everybody can use Mulberry. It will go with any skin and any clothes, actually. And it will go with your pinks and it will go with your browns. So I'm going to put some Mulberry there above where I'm going to do my crease and above my, um, between the eyebrow. And I'm going to leave some of the Sandstone Pearl there showing to give me that light color up there at the top. Just kind of blend it. And then I'm going to use, uh, I'm going to grab a different brush, one that I've already had some dark color on, Garnet. I use it almost, almost every day. It's a dark color, so I'm going to take, lift my eye, I'm going to tap a little bit right there where the crease is going to be. I'm, li I'm lifting my eyebrow so that I get the perfect crease there, and the secret is blending it, so you don't want to blend it too much you still want to be able to see all the colors it's very pretty so you'll be able to still see my sandstone pearl you'll be able to see my mulberry and you'll be able to see my garnet but when you blend it like this you can just tap your finger use your finger and your brush and what happens is it sets on your eye as a powder but it will not budge or smudge all day so it ends up being <laughs> The best eyeshadow ever. Now today I'm going to do something different. I'm going to use Ebony Essence Cream to Powder Eyeshadow. So I'm not really, really as harsh on my eyeliner. But I'm making eyeliner out of this. You see it's flat. I'm going to turn it upside down and use the point. I'm going to make my eyeliner out of this. Now Ebony Essence is not black. It's not brown. It is a dark gray, sort of a charcoal color. I'm going under my eye, and yes, I do like eyeliner. I don't, I cannot help myself. I've had it tattooed on five times. It's never stayed because I do like mine thick. Now, there is my eyeliner. It's going to stay on all day. Now, if I did want to do a little wing, which I did take my finger and go up, so I did give myself a tiny, really little, little tiny thin wing, but I may take the black eyeliner and do a little bit more of a wing out here. Sort of the little cat, uh, sort of the little cat eye. Cause I'm catty. Gotta do the other one. So I didn't do it while ago, I forgot. Okay, that's black. Now, I'm going to um, do my mascara, which I always do my under scents first. My under scents is going to thicken my eye lash. I'm going to heat my eyelash curler up with the blow dry, which makes it a curling iron for your eyelashes. And because my eyelashes don't break, because of the under scents, they're very, very long and thick already. But I'm going to curl them, and that gets hot quick. So I'll show you this how my lashes are long and thick. And that's what my eyeliner looks like and my eyeshadow. It's going to stay on all day. So your under scents is $20 and it comes in a container like this. It's made out of volcanic ash. And you can see that it's going to thicken even more. My eyelashes are, have never been this long all of a sudden in the last year because I've started using this under scents ritually, ritually. It protects them, keeps them from breaking, which makes them in turn longer and thicker. 
are you doing? Okay, do the bottom. And it's gray. So there you go. Now you're going to do your black mascara. I use black. Some people use brown. I've never used brown, and I'm not ever going to use brown. So I'm going to do my black. I'm not even going to finish because you're going to get bored watching. But I'm just going to tell you that my makeup's going to stay on all day. I will pop it with a little powder. I'm going to actually use the new Silver Rose um, powder. It's a, it's a rose color powder with silver glitter in it. If you can see that, it's beautiful. I'm going to just pop it and give myself a little glitter. Go here with it. I love it. I'm going to smooth it with the natural powder. Tap it. Set all of this. And I'm done.